Hey everyone. So another thing that I have been doing recently is I've been trying out new recipes for dried meals that I can make for my own backpacking meals. Um, I'm doing this more so for health reasons. I don't really want to just buy like the packaged, you know, pre-packaged dinner meals because some of the ingredients, even though you can find ones that are like really good with the ingredients, I kind of feel like there are other things in there that I might not want. And even though you burn a lot of calories and you sweat a lot when you're hiking, I don't like that the sodium content of these types of meals are usually off the charts. So I am going to try a recipe today that I saw on the Thru Hikers page. I believe Tim and Renee, I think that's their names. This is the one that they have posted for unstuffed peppers. I'm gonna add a little more spices than they have listed in their recipe. I think their recipe really just calls for the tomato powder, which I do have, but I'm going to add a little more seasoning and I'm going to be using lentils instead of kidney beans. So I am also going to be cooking this in one of the, one of the dinner meal, like, mylar bag types. I've been testing these out for my lunches at work. Okay, so for this uh, recipe, I think they have that they use three ounces of instant rice. I'm just gonna do like half a cup. Half cup-ish. Oh God. I bought the Gourmanity Dry Bell Peppers on Amazon. Uh, this is a two pound bag for like I think $20, $25. They're pretty good, I no complaints. So I've been trying those out. Put about, I don't know, somewhere between a fourth and a third of a cup of that. What next? Next we'll do the lentils. Okay. I just got these in the mail yesterday. I haven't tried them yet, but I'm just gonna do, that's probably a third of a cup. That's good enough for me. And these are the Mother Earth dehydrated lentils um, from Amazon. Lily of the Valley tomato powder. I didn't want to buy a big bag just because I've never used this before and I don't know if I'm gonna like this. It's pretty much what you would expect. Um, hmm. I'm gonna do two tablespoons. Let's see, did they say what they use? All I wrote down was tomato sauce powder. They may have had a <laughs> an amount listed. I didn't write it down. So, hmm. Maybe two and a half tablespoons. Hope I don't regret that. I'm gonna use some Redmond salt. We just keep it in this little container. And I'm just gonna do a pinch. Actually, maybe two pinches. This is just a test for now. Obviously, if this was an actual backpacking meal, I'd probably put, I don't know how much, but I'd put more than just two pinches of salt. Italian, I'm going to do um, a teaspoon. Whew. That gets strong. Garlic, I'm going to do, let's see, this is a half teaspoon, but I'm gonna do half of this. Mm. Somewhere between a fourth and an eighth because garlic powder, I feel like can be very overwhelming very quickly. I like it, but I'm not trying to overwhelm the flavor. A little under half a teaspoon of pepper. And then a little extra oregano. So I'm gonna do A half. Okay, so let's see. How much water should I do? What do the lentils say? One part water. Okay, I'm gonna read y'all what this says. To one part boiling water, add four parts boiling water. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to add a cup of hot water. 
maybe a little over a cup of hot water and we're gonna call it with that. We have one of these uh, dispensers that has the hot water, which is also what I have at work when I try the recipes out at work. So I have added a little over one cup of hot water. I'll check back in about 15, 20 minutes. Let's go ahead and open it up. I'm gonna pour it into this bowl and we can see what it looks like. Okay, well it smells good. Okay, so you can see inside, but I got this clear bowl so that I could add it to this and see, give you a better idea of how much I actually made from that bit. I do plan on cooking in my pot for actual hiking meals, but I'm not gonna carry all that to work. I'm just gonna use this because everything cooks in really nicely and because I'm not eating out of it, I just kind of rinse it out um, and then use a little soap to just rinse it out and clean it so that it just, you know, can keep being reused. But here is the meal. Honestly, it looks good, about to come right out of there, but it looks good. So let's do a little mixy uppy and a little tasty taste. Okay, that's good. Those lentils actually cooked up completely fine. The rice I've tried several times, but um, you know what, that is really good, but I definitely think two and a half tablespoons of the tomato powder was um, maybe just a tad bit too much. Hmm, next time I'd probably do two tablespoons of tomato powder, I'd add more salt and more Italian and oregano. But this is really good, so I'm gonna say thanks to Renee and Tim for this, and I will definitely link their little short that they made for this recipe, also topped with nutritional yeast. Let's also see how that tastes. That's good. I'm not gonna say it's my favorite meal because it's not, but again, I think part of that is too much tomato powder. But this is good. I give it, I give it a solid thumbs up. I will probably add this to my list of backpacking meals to prep for a future hike that I have not mentioned yet on this channel. Um, and me and my mom will mention that at a future date. So anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the video.